Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we will learn about the Salesforce screen flow and then we will also discuss how we can create a custom screen flow in Salesforce. And before this I would like to introduce our newly launched Salesforce admin course. So first let me show you the course content then we will continue to the topic. And also I will mention the course link in the description from where you can access it. So this is the Salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website. And I will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course. So these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So it's a beginner to advanced level Salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours SD video. And you will also get the PDFs and the certification after the completion. And also there is an offer for 50% discount for the early birds. So, so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course. And if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this course, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to our So in Salesforce, so in Salesforce, Flow is a tool for automating business procedures. And it is used to create custom flows. And within these flows, one such flow is a screen flow. And this is a very basic and widely used flow. And this screen flow is basically the instruction or a call script that direct user to complete certain fields and perform actions like creating, updating a record. And all of this is done just in a few clicks without writing any code. Uh, so you can consider it as a form also where you have to enter the details. And when you click on the next or finish button, the record will be created. So let's move ahead and see how we can create a screen flow in salesforce so right now i have logged into my salesforce developer console and from here we will navigate to the flow setup for that go to this quick find box and search for flows and then under the heading process automation click on flows and in the flow setup window click on the new flow button and here you will see two options so here we have to select start from scratch and then click on the next button and from the options we are creating a screen flow so we will select the option screen flow and then click on create button so here in this example we will create a screen flow that will create account records so for that click on this plus icon and then select the screen element so in this screen element we will add the components that will take the input from the users so here i'm going to label this element as a account details and the api name will be auto field so the components that we are going to add is going to be the are going to be the text component or pick list component and this will take input from the users to fill the detail that are required to create an account record so first i will add a section component to the screen region and it is not mandatory that you will first add the section component to the screen region and uh, if you will do it is just that the screen flow will look organized if you will add the section component and you can also divide this section so here i'm going to divide this section component in, into four parts so in this section first i will add the tag so in this section first i will add that so in these sections i will first add the text component and i will and from this text component i will take the input for the label that is account label so so in this text field i will take the input as a account name so i am so i will add the label as account name and the api name will be auto filled and from the and from the checkbox require you can make this field mandatory to enter and now and now i also have a pick list and now for the account record i have a pick list field record type so for that i will add a pick list component to the sections and here i will add the label as account type and the api name will be auto filled according to the entered label and for the pick list field we have to create a choice resource for that for that go to the field choice so here click on the choice field and then select new choice resource 
so for this choice resource we have to select the resource as pick list choice set in the api name i have entered here is the account type and we will map this pick list field with the type field with the type field in the object record so the object that we are going to select here is account and the data type will be pick list and the field will be the type so we have created the uh, new choice resource for the pick list field type this field will display the <clears throat> account type available for creating an account record and the another pick list field that i am going to add is account industry that is the industry type so i have entered the label for this account industry and again we will create a choice resource for this pick list field that is new choice resource and here also the pick list the resource type is going to be the pick list and the api name will be industry type or you can name it account industry and the object will be the account for this also and the data type is going to pick list and the field will be the industry so with this i have explained how you can add the pick list field to a screen flow and here we are going to remove the one component that we don't need so as of now we have added the components that are required to create create account record and and you can also add more like phone and email to create an account record and after creating the screen element we will click on the done and so after adding the screen element we have to add a create record element to the screen flow for that click on the plus icon and here select create record so in the create record element we have to map the screen element to the fields of object for that first we have to enter the label and the api name of the create record element so here i will enter the label as create account record or create account so under the heading how to set record field value select the option manually and here select the object account so here we have to map the field values so the first field is account name so we will map it so we will map this account name field with the account name with the account name element that we've used in the screen flow and the same way we'll also map the other fields so the second field was account type and the last one was industry and the element was account industry so as of now we have mapped the screen elements with the object fields so now we will save the flow for that click on the save button and here i will name it as create account records flow and the flow api name will be auto field and after entering the flow label and the flow api name click on the save button so first we will debug this flow to check it's working so for that click on the debug button and here i will click on run so here i have to enter the details so i will name this account name as a test account and the account type i am selecting here is customer direct and the and the account industry as engineering and then i will click on the next button so here you can see the transaction is committed and the flow ran successfully so we can also navigate to the accounts tab and here i will refresh it once and you can see the test account record is created so this is how we can create a screen flow and and then with the help of that screen flow we can create records for the standard and custom objects so now to use this flow we have to first activate it for activating this we have to simply click on the activate button and to make this flow display on the record page we have to add this flow with the help of lightning app builder so for that navigate to the page so i'm going to add this on an application page so first i will navigate to the application so this is the custom application from on where i have to add this screen flow so on the application page i will click on this gear icon and then click on edit page and then we will add this flow component to the screen region and then select the flow component and on the right hand side you have to select the flow that you have created so this is the flow that we have created right now 
and after selecting the flow click on the save button so here we can see the screen flow is deployed on the record page and here you can enter the details and then click on the next button and as you click next the account record will be created again we will go back to the accounts tab and here you can see this test 2 is the account record that we have created right now with the help of screen flow so this was all about creating and using a screen flow in salesforce so this was all about creating a screen flow in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye